hey guys welcome back to my channel um i have been getting or I, I always get but i have been getting a lot of dms just asking like how to be an influencer or like what do you need like some people just don't know where to start and um basically like i can only say so much through a message so i figured i would just make a video so people can watch it and i can just send them the link whenever somebody asks me like how do i do what you do and um what do i need to get started and how do i know what videos to post first and blah 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 and all that stuff so i'm just gonna kind of share my story on how i got started and then i'll just go through some basics and like essentials that you need to be a youtuber um influencer um, what to know in collaborating with brands and things of that nature. So, um, my personal story, um, it's actually a short one. So, basically, I was transitioning to become natural. And I used to always just get so many questions like, Oh my god, your hair is so beautiful. Like, what'd you put in it? What'd you do? Da -da -da -da. Like, tell me your secrets, etc, etc. And basically, basically, my mom was just like, okay, go ahead and make a YouTube channel because she already has a YouTube, she already had a YouTube channel and she was like, why don't you just go ahead and make one? You can just tell people your channel name and they'll know exactly what products you use, what methods you use, and basically you can just show them how you care for your hair. So I went ahead and made one. She actually came up with the name Girlfriend Ari and um, finding a name that is about you and about your brand and what you represent is really important to the success of your brand like having a unique name that everyone knows you by and everyone refers to you by is just really what helps to push your brand forward so come up with something that's really specific to you and your craft and just be original always be original because there's some other curl friends out there but i believe I was the first curl friend, okay? So I see like other names like curl friend so and so or curl friend so and so, but like I'm the OG, okay? Okay. So coming up with a unique name is just really, really important. Um, continuing on with my story, um, so I decided to just go ahead and make one. Um, when I first started out, I had no equipment, I never edited a video in my life, okay? So I used my iPhone, I had an iPhone 5C at the time and I just set it up on some books because I didn't have a tripod either and um, they, I think I used the front camera too because the back camera I couldn't see, you know, I couldn't see what to do or like where the camera was pointing so I used the front camera which means the quality was even more trash than the back camera. So set my iPhone up on some books and just filmed what I do I filmed like two pigtails I think like two braided pigtails or something like that and that was my first video so I used movie maker like the beginning of my um YouTube journey I basically used movie maker the entire Time. like I just recently switched over to iMovie which is still for me I don't need a lot of like special effects like iMovie and Movie Maker was enough for me and them things is free okay because anybody got $300 $400 for Final Cut in in Sony Vegas and all that stuff actually I did I forgot I did use Sony Vegas I went from Movie Maker and then my boyfriend at the time, he um, figured out how to download Sony Vegas for free um, onto my laptop. And then I had used that for a while. And then once I upgraded to a MacBook, I then used iMovie. And iMovie was so much easier to, for me than Sony Vegas. Like Sony Vegas uses all the special effects and all that other stuff. And I just don't need that. I just need to cut clips maybe add a little drizzle, drizzle drazzle here and there like i don't need anything like super crazy so if you can do the free option i recommend it but if you do want final cut um or sony vegas by all means spend your money <laughs> yeah so 
my first video I used Movie Maker to edit it. Um, I did voiceovers through my um, iPod headphones and that's how I did my first few videos. So literally I just started with what I had. I didn't go out and buy a camera. I didn't have go out and buy proper lighting. I didn't do anything. I set my iPhone up on some books and just filmed a tutorial. And people think like you have to have the whole setup. It's like you'll get there. Like as you grow, you'll get there and you'll, you know, start to upgrade and um, you know, things will come to you. But if you don't have the money, don't try to go out of your way and break the bank just so you can do this. Like literally use what you have. You can do so much with so little and I think people don't like really understand that. So yeah, that's basically like my story of how I got started. And it just took off. Like I just kept being consistent and posting my videos and trying to take pictures daily. Like daily, like little hair shots in the sun and get the good lighting, get the texture shots. And um, yeah. So the equipment, this is like if you can afford to get it now. But for the equipment, what I did was I actually borrowed a camera from someone from my boyfriend at the time he had a what do you have he had a canon t3i so i used the canon t3i for most of my youtube career and it did what it needed to do um so if you can borrow a camera or use a camera for if you're in college i know colleges like at georgia state they'll give you cameras to use for projects all you have to do is like give them your student id and they'll let you like check out cameras and stuff. So just use stuff um, to your ability, you know, take advantage of the little perks that you find here and there. Um, for my lighting, I have the big like umbrella lights and some other lighting as well. And um, I got it, I bought it all off of Amazon for about $75 and it came with a big green screen that I don't use. But I could use it like if I wanted to do a different style video, like a video like just talking like I could use it for this video, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I came with a green screen and everything for $75. Um, I also bought a new camera. So this is my actual camera. So the camera I was using before wasn't my actual camera, even though I still have it. But this is the first camera that I bought for myself and I bought the Sony A5100. And I love the quality. It's not 4K. I really wish it was 4K, but look. Your girl did what was in her means, okay? So it's still, um, even though it's not 4K, it's still 1080, I think 1080p, right? And that's still like, what, the second highest quality? So, you know, I'm making do, and once I get to a point where I'm ready to level up again, then I will definitely get the newest, best 4K camera that there is. Um, yeah, so basically when you're, figuring out like where to film your videos once you get your equipment together oh yeah tripod um i did remember i said i was using books before so i bought a tripod off of amazon for like 15 dollars um and then that one broke so i bought another one for like 25 and it's really great it has so many different latches and compartments and all different type of stuff that you can use to you know get your desired angles so tripods aren't that much um tripods definitely come in handy you're gonna need a tripod if you're gonna want to film and go out and shoot and like all type of different stuff so when you're figuring out where to record always try to find the most well lit professional background that you can find so your lighting like lighting is so important because especially if you're doing like hair tutorials or makeup like people have to see what you're doing if they can't see then there's no purpose of the video yeah, so you have to make sure that wherever you're filming, like y'all know from my earlier videos, I had a purple curtain with like these um, little sequin like, I mean, it wasn't sequins, but it was just like these shiny spots on it. And that served me really well for a long time. Like I showed up well on the background. People could see what I was doing. Like it worked out really well, but I, it was definitely time for me to upgrade and go to a more professional background because a lot of brands, like when I was working with brands, I would find out that they they wanted more of a clear, professional white background or just a dominant color rather than a sheet or a curtain like thrown up behind you. You know, they want 
for their Instagram pages and places where they're going to repost your work and your content, they want your work to look pr as professional as possible because you are representing a brand, a different brand, not only your brand, but a different brand at the end of the day. So make sure you find a really good spot. Um, also, this is really, really good advice. Study the pages of the influencers and the YouTubers that you look up to and who inspire you. Because I still do that to this day. I still go and look for inspiration or look of like, oh, I want to do something different with my backdrop. Like, let me just search around and see. And you can like get ideas from other people and just kind of come up with your own thing or how to adjust like just certain things to make your background look better. And sometimes like a really nice background makes people want to tune into your channel because they like what they see, you know? So just make sure that you... You know, it's it's important. It's not just like a throwaway thing. Like, oh, I can just set up a camera and record anywhere. Yes, you can, but also just make sure that the background fits the type of tutorial or video that you are creating. And also consider brands and what a brand will want as well. Yes. Um. So, I've talked about editing. I've talked about equipment. Um... What another thing about equipment is, um, you I need to get a mic. I don't have a mic, I just talk into my camera. But a mic really helps with the sound quality. Um, also, I would recommend having at least three SD cards that you can load up with videos and stuff, and um, just SD cards that you can take and travel, but just make sure you keep up with them. Um, I do have a camera bag where I can put all my stuff into it. And I do have a bag for my tripod as well if I want to carry it around, take it somewhere, go take a photo at the park, etc, etc. Um, you know, you just have to invest in, you have to invest in this. If this is something you're serious about, you, you're you going to have to invest. Um, I would say that if you have a really good quality um, iPhone, you don't need to purchase a camera at the moment like eventually you're gonna need a camera because you're gonna want to like do stuff with your phone and like if you have the money of course get a camera but if you have a really good quality iphone you can hold off on a cam on a camera for a little bit because the iphone quality is just so good or whatever phone if you if you like your phone quality i don't know about androids so if you like your phone quality then that's fine but i just know the iphone quality is very good so definitely um, hold off on the camera if you can, but cameras are very important. So next, I feel like a lot of people have trouble with just being consistent. Um, I have trouble with being consistent. Everybody has trouble with being consistent. Um, it's, it's a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. I went through college trying to be as consistent as I could be, but some days like I would just have to put the videos on the back burner and just work on my schoolwork and it just is what it is I guess and especially just collaborating with brands and they have deadlines as well and just trying to meet their deadlines it can get pretty hectic but um, I would say as far as like Instagram being consistent on Instagram because that's different than being consistent on YouTube because um, Instagram you can just go anywhere and snap a little pic right real quick um, but with Instagram I think Planning in advance, like taking a bunch of pictures in one day and then posting them periodically throughout the week or next or do two different looks, two or three different looks in one day and then posting different looks periodically over like the next two weeks definitely helps you focus on other things in your life such as like schoolwork or your nine to five job. And um, also I would say it, that that same method could work for YouTube as well, but you would have to film. For me, like I can't. I like to to let my hair rest. You know, I don't like to constantly just like do my hair and the next day I wash it, do some other products and the next day I wash it and do some. I like to give my hair a break. So filming multiple hair videos in one day is not what I would do, but it can be done. So what I would do is probably film hair one day, do makeup the next day, then maybe do like fashion on the third day. And then edit those and just, you know, get your videos up as you can 
and fit it into your schedule. Um, but yeah, everyone has um, trouble being consistent. You have to come up with new ideas, fresh ideas, original ideas that no one's done before. And it can be very challenging. So, you know, just do what you can. But just remember, the more consistent you are, the quicker you will get to your goals and the, the quicker you'll reach your goals at the end of the day. Um, so... I feel like nobody gave me like any specific questions so I'm just kind of going off the top of my head but um like I wrote down a tiny little list of stuff I want to talk about but like I'm just still kind of winging it and like I don't want to forget anything or I don't want this video to not be as informative as it could be um collaborating with brands is what I want to talk about next so it took me at least a year and like I still struggle with this but like it, it took me at least a year to um, finally collaborate with my first brand and then after that the brands just start rolling in as you grow so the more you grow the more brands will reach out have your email in your bio on your IG page and um, somewhere for them to contact you off of YouTube if people do contact you from your YouTube videos um, but yeah collaborating with brands um, make sure you guys set your prices to what you think you deserve like for real for real because and don't lowball yourself because when you lowball your, ball yourself you lowball everyone else you're like oh she charging this much and she charging that much I'm gonna go with her I can get more out of her for less and I don't have to pay this girl what she deserves and you're not staying true to yourself even though they chose to work with you it's like you're not staying true to yourself you could have got more money if you had just stuck to your price you know so always go with your gut feeling on what you think you deserve don't ever lowball yourself get a media kit so what i did is i went on canva and i put together a media kit with my rates for a youtube video rates for instagram picture instagram one minute tutorial um story post i um um hair modeling i have my rates and everything on there so when i send them my media kit they can go through and look and see and then pick oh let's just do a youtube video and an ig video or let's just do an ig post and three ig story posts you know so you allow brands to go in and pick um what they want and then they'll let you know and they'll send you the products for free never ever pay for products they'll send you the products for free and you know you just create a tutorial um if sometimes they will have like guidelines like they want a certain hairstyle or they want you to wear a certain color for the theme or the to match the color of the product or product launch so you know just collaborating with brands always say true to yourself if you feel like a product did not work for you then the product just did not work for you period and you have to let your followers know that you you have to let your your followers need to trust you and know that you're not going to lead them astray just because you get some money basically like because you really like being an influencer is like being a test dummy and like we test out all the products so that our audience can know which products to spend their money on they go in and then place a value and say oh this product seems of of value to me and my hair type so I'm gonna buy this product based off of the video that they saw you do so always always give your honest opinion um always keep in mind that products don't work for every single hair type I often have products that was just like what is this so just always be true to yourself um don't think that you have to um give a good review to a brand even though a lot of them that's what they really want at the end of the day but just make sure that you're staying true to yourself and not feeling forced to give a good review when you know that the products aren't shit basically yeah um so yeah that's collaborating with brands i know a lot of people want to get to that point where they're just getting products like free stuff da -da -da, but it's a lot of work like these people aren't just sending you free stuff so that you can just have free stuff and just flaunt it all over social media they're sending you this stuff because they want you to create content for them so that they can make money so when you send them your price make sure that you this is so important when you send them your price make sure you are not lowballing yourself you guys seriously because once you put your video out 
your trusted subscribers and followers are going to go and then buy that product from them and they're giving the company their money they're not giving you their money they're giving the company their money based off of the tutorial that you made so make sure that you're getting your money from the company okay make don't i'm telling you make sure you're getting your profit from the company because your video might make them two thousand dollars and all you charge for the video is two hundred dollars how that work how they got 2k and you got 200 no uh-uh i'm not here for it that's not that's it's not how we're working i'm sorry it's a no so make sure that you give them your price okay okay um what else what else what else so if you are like seriously feeling lost about where to start just please 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 do what i said and go and study the pages of the influencers and the youtubers that you really love look at their backgrounds look at how they engage with their audience see if they reply to comments if they don't reply to comments see how they take advantage of their ig story um do um highlights on your page like just figure yeah you, you just gotta figure it out for yourself sometimes you just have to take initiative and just be like this is what i want come here betsy it's my cat she coming in here her name's not betsy anyways but yeah just seriously take advantage of the tools that are in front of you um a lot of people want you to like um just buy certain packages to figure out how to be a successful youtuber and da -da 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 and how to become instagram famous and really i think the most authentic people become if you're not a celebrity the most authentic and hardworking people become instagram famous or acquire a lot of followers um you can't care about what other people may say because i know that when i first posted my hair videos on instagram i lost a lot of followers a lot of people were probably like what is this like what is she doing like what what is the point like i'm confused like what what's going on and i know i lost a lot of followers and i know like a lot of guys they probably don't want to see like hair tutorials but i don't care because you know what i took my instagram page and i turned it into a business and now i'm making money and i ain't feeling like nobody's stopping from my bag because you don't want you don't want to see hair tutorials or i, I can't share my gift or I can't share my interest with the world, you know? Like, don't let other people or what other people might say. Or like, people are gonna look at my post weird. Like, like why is she posting this? Who cares? Like, but you're making bank. Like, who cares? Why are you letting other people stop you from getting to the bag? Come on now. Like, get to it. Like, I hate people are just like, scared to post their music or post their artwork or post a special talent that they have online because they're afraid of what other people might think or what other people might say or if they might lose followers like who cares you're going to gain more followers who are interested in what you're doing so those people are easily replaceable it's not like they're bringing in any any money you know so just be true and authentic to yourself when starting a channel or a page um just be unique be creative and try to make the best quality content to your abilities right now don't think about the future or, or her videos look better or her pictures are so much prettier. Da, 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 da. Do what you can and what's within your power. And I promise any effort you put forward will return on you tenfold. So just make sure you're being... I got my dog and my cat just going crazy. Um, just make sure you're being authentic to yourself. And yeah i hope i didn't leave anything else out um if you guys have any more questions i can definitely make a part two comment below if you want to know anything about my personal experience or you have personal questions comment below and i promise i will answer them um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning into this video i hope it was helpful and gave you just a little bit of insight into how to becoming a youtuber or influencer um and yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.